We found Wombo. He's just in the in our creek. A very active hole. Good location, you know what they say. Location, location, location. Close to water. Water frontage. Oh man, it's really coming down now. I really wish we had some kind of a shade structure to sit under. Oh look, there's one. This is a shivering container. It looks fantastic. We have our lean-to off the side. We have some water. That looks great. It's all finished. We can move some stuff in now. We moved a whole heap of my books today. We moved five boxes of books. Um, we've got a lot more to move. At least another 10. I know I've definitely got 15 boxes um, and I think I've got about another three or four on shelving so we won't move them in until we actually move down here. Hopefully next week we will move some furniture and some bits and pieces but we are going to help our neighbours set up their little unit um, next weekend. But this week was an interesting week. We had our first big meeting with our builders um, which was good. Um, we've got our tender documents all being sorted out. A um, few little issues sorting out the power and the water and things like that because out here we have no services. We do not have um, sewerage, we do not have town water, we do not have electricity. Our electricity box is all the way down the bottom of the driveway and our house is about 130 meters from there. Um, and so we are going to have to put a power pole down the bottom, another one a bit further up the hill and then go underground to the house. So we've discussed that with the builders, which is fantastic. Um, we're also having a 135,000 litre water tank off the side of the house, um, which was a bit hard to explain to the builders that we don't actually have town water, which they assumed that we did. And so they were only going to hook up the, um, the water tanks to our toilets and our laundry, assuming that we had town water to the rest of the house. It's not the case, we have nothing. So that was an interesting conversation. We got through all of that, made sure that they're aware of what we're doing. Um, it's absolutely disgusting out here today. It's rainy, it's cold, it's snowing on the mountains. So it's a bit chilly. The house that we are going to be building is a four bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage. It has two nice living areas. There's a rumpus room up the back that I can close the door to, which is great. Or I can put Leon and friends up the back or other kids and standard kind of suburban house. We are changing it a little bit to suit our needs out here on a property. We have a big mud room, we have a really really huge big pantry, big butler's pantry that we can uh, store lots of um, jars and preserves and dry goods in so that we can um, last a little bit longer before going to the shops. Um, we will have it powered um, on the grid and we have a solar system to offset that as well. So we have both. We'll have a septic system going in. Um, I'm looking at different options for the septic. Apparently there are worm farm septic systems which sound really really interesting. So our neighbours are looking at that as well and they suggested it. That sounds really interesting. Um, and we will have the big water tank um, which would be great. We'll probably have another couple of water tanks around the property um, because of the gardens. We'll have one near the chickens. We have one off the side of the shipping container and that will provide us enough water all year round if we do reach a drought. If we are in drought it will make things a bit easier on the gardens, on the food forest, on the animals um, and that'll be really really good. So lots of water tanks. Um, I will talk a little bit more about the house as we get through the design process. Some of the colours and things, I'm looking at lots of like eucalypt green colours and um, things that will really complement where we are living and the, the, the environment out here and it's going to be really really beautiful, I can't wait. So um, today we're just getting a few things sorted. It's cold, it's rainy. I have a few friends stopping past this afternoon and uh, yeah and then hopefully we can have a bit of an early early afternoon back in town and uh, warm up and maybe watch a movie so we'll see how we go. We have fire! 
I won't lie, it was hard to light. Daniel may have come out with a bottle of degreaser to help. But we have fire! So we can actually keep warm today. Because I'm pretty sure it's snowing over there. So we managed to get all the shipping containers sorted out today. That's all the stuff at the back. That's all that camping stuff. And I got a nice little kitchen set up going that I'm absolutely loving right now. You live in here? Got lights, power, water, what else do you need? Where's the toilet? Ah, just here. <laughs> so of everything. Swags over there. Oh, Some sleeping music. bags. That's got good. the music, important. Got power. You know, who doesn't need bags of concrete in their living room? We always have bags of concrete lying somewhere. Almost done. We're looking good. I just wanted some burning. Getting rid of all this. This is rose hip. Look at the thorns on that. That is just nasty. So burning all that. Whole heap of it here. Whole heap of it by the fireplace. We gotta get rid of the little buggers. So it started to rain. And uh, I reckon it might snow. I'm really keen to see if it'll snow. Wish he'd shut up. It's a bit noisy out here. It's supposed to be calm and quiet. And peaceful. And I get this all day. In all fairness, he's making a truck for the truck to deliver the water tank, so I shouldn't complain too much. But I will. I keep thinking it's going to snow, and it just doesn't. It just kind of sprinkles on us for 10 minutes, then goes again, which is a real bummer. At least if it snowed, it would make all the cold seem worthwhile, and we got a bit of a kick out of it, but it just keeps raining. <laughs> I look like the crazy bush lady. Because I'm walking around with an axe and I'm wearing a beanie and gloves and I look like I'm into trouble. So we've had a busy day. Such a busy day. Oh my gosh. So Daniel has whippersnipped a huge big driveway all up to behind our shipping container because we have a big water tank coming. And also his dad is giving us his old ute which um, just needs a new battery. But um, he had a rule a couple of years ago. It's not, you know, it's not really a great vehicle for on the road but it's a great farm vehicle so we're going to bring the ute out and that's going to go over there as well at some point so we've got a nice driveway all the way up to behind the shipping container and now i believe dan is going to do some more whippersnipping where i'm going to put my new garden so we are going to cement in a few posts and put some chicken wire up and try and keep the roos and the wombats out as much as possible i know that's absolutely ridiculous to even dream about out here but we're going to try so that's going to go down the front here where I built that garden bed. And um, I'm currently just trying to get all of the rose hip out, um, which I just dug all of that out. This stuff's awful. It's just so spiky and it gets into everything. I got hooked on my beanie earlier and Daniel was laughing at me because I couldn't see anything. Um, it's just awful. So digging all that out, I have another huge one right there to dig out. It's big, it's ugly, it's awful. This monstrosity. It's gonna take me a while. Probably took me like a good solid hour and a half to do the other one. So that's what we're doing this afternoon, then we're gonna head out. It's cold, it's rainy. It's a bit miserable. But um, we're really loving it out here and it's just, it's beautiful, even if it's freezing. But I think we'll call it there and we'll see you on the next one.